we're going to go ahead and start it with reading today. And like we did goals and morning meeting, our reading lesson today is very similar. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with everybody, maybe. There it is. Okay. And so we're going to talk about setting reading goals and why it is important to set those reading goals for you as short term and long term, right? So you need another piece of paper and something to write with. Re our reading goals is something that we want to keep in our space with our reading. Now, if you have a reader's notebook, you may want it on the first page, just write down your reading goals if you have your notebook sitting by you. Um, if not, you can write it on a piece of paper and it's something you can kind of keep near you, but you need that. You need something to color with or write with. Um, you can use colored pencils or a crayon. You can decorate up your goals and all that when we get started or when you get started on um, working on your own for your lesson today. All right. So really quick, just to start, we're going to review, even though we talked about it just a few minutes ago in morning meeting, what is a goal, right? And so it's the technical definition. The dictionary definition is the object of a person's ambition or effort and aim or desired result, right? And just like Miss Weibel talked about this morning, it's basically something you want to get done. It's something that you want to be able to achieve or accomplish, okay? And you have general goals that we make, and we have things we want to try to get done in our lives, and we did those this morning. Today in reading, we're just going to focus on reading goals, things you want to be able to do when it comes to reading. So forget math for a minute, forget other things to do with school, just reading, okay? So I'm going to throw up some examples of what could be a possible reading goal for you this year. Is there anybody who wants to read the one in the top left corner? Anybody who would like to read the reading goal, like the example or something, a question you could ask in the top left corner? Corbin, go for it. Make sure you unmute yourself, bud. books do you want to read this school year? Yeah, so it could just be a goal of how many books you want to read during this school year, right? Uh, Clay, can you read the one on the top right, please? Yes. What is one book that you definitely want to read this year? Yeah, thank you. So maybe you have one specific book. Like I know last year, I really wanted to read the one and only Ivan. And so I set that as a goal to read the one and only Ivan. People have been talking about that book since I was in college and I never got around to reading it. So last year I made that a goal and I read that book last year. So maybe you have one specific book. Maybe you want to start Harry Potter or some other book series and you, you want to read a book and that could be one goal. Very good. All right. Bottom left corner. Is there anybody who would like to read the bottom left corner? That is not Corbin or Clay. Michael, thank you, sir. What gen, gen genre. Your genre do you want to try this year? Thank you, Michael. So yeah, so maybe you are normally somebody who reads one particular genre. Maybe you read fantasy a lot, a lot of fantasy books, and you want to read books that are different than fantasy this year. So like I know, and most of the time when I read, I read nonfiction. So almost all the books I read are about history or a biography or about like nature, things like that. So maybe I want to set a goal and say, instead of reading all nonfiction, I want to try to read some books this year that are um, detective stories, right? Or something like that. Maybe there's a specific genre of book I want to read. And then the last one, is what do you need to do to become a better reader this year? So maybe you say, you say, I wanna be able to read more words per minute, or I wanna be able to read pages more fluently, or I wanna be able to read one chapter in one sitting. So maybe you wanna build your reading stamina, right? You wanna be able to read longer for 20 minutes without taking a break. Those are all measurable things, right? You can keep track of how many books you read. You can say yes or no, did I read this specific book? You can say yes or no, did I read more from this genre? And you can say, uh, did I re am I able to read 20 minutes now without taking a break? So just like your goals this morning, you're gonna have short-term and long-term goals. So there are a couple sentence starters that you could use. We put this in your assignment today that you can use to help you get started on your goals. 
So here's some examples with completed sentence stems. So this school year, I want to read 10 books. One book I plan to read this year is Front Desk by Kelly Yang. One genre I would like to try this year is autobiographies. Or to become a better reader this year, I will make sure I have a stack of books on my nightstand. I will also be sure to read for 20 minutes every night before I go to bed. So whatever you want to make your reading goals that you think are a short-term goal or a long-term goal is absolutely fine. So that is going to be your assignment today, making some reading goals and moving forward with thinking about what's a short-term goal I can make for reading, what's a long-term goal I can make for reading. Remember, what's short-term mean? Somebody raise your hand. In fact, I'm not even gonna ask it. I'm just gonna go, boom, Alexander, what, uh, mute yourself and tell us, what does a short-term goal mean? A short... Short-term goal. A short-term goal means like a goal that's like short, like. Yeah, like you can do it quickly, right? So it's a goal you can accomplish like this week or this month. It's not going to take a really long time. So a short-term goal is something you can accomplish quickly. What is a long-term goal? Let's see. Uh, Guadalupe, what's a long-term goal? A short amount of time. Sorry, Guadalupe, we had somebody uh, interrupt a little bit. Could you say that again? What's a long-term goal? A long-term goal is that you're, you're doing a long goal. So, yeah, a long-term goal is something that's going to take a long time, right? You're not going to be able to finish it this week. It's going to maybe take till the end of the school year or maybe even a few months, maybe by the end of the semester at winter break. So a couple short-term reading goals, something you can do quickly within the next couple weeks, and a couple long-term ones that you want to accomplish by the end of the year. Okay, so in just a second, your job is going to be to go to Canvas, click on Friday and reading, and then complete assignment. Your assignment today, you can choose how you want to submit it. So if you want to write out your goals on paper, I'm going to stop sharing my screen here for just a second. If you want to write out your goals on paper, you can take it, you can decorate it, you can make it look your own, that, and then you can either show us on a video submission or you can take a picture of it and send it to us like you have been. Or if you just want to type your goals in a text box, Mr. Hoffman, my reading goals this year are and let us know, all right, then you can type it in a box and, and submit your assignment that way. So really it's your choice. You can submit it however you want it. There are only a couple requirements, all right, and we're going to go over those. I'm going to show share, share my screen again. I probably didn't need to stop sharing it. That's my bad. Um, I'm going to share it and we're going to go to our Canvas dashboard. We're going to go to our class and we're going to go to Friday. And then we're going to go to reading. Just like we have been all week. Today's reading assignment. So today's that we determine your reading goals for the school year. Think about the examples we did during our live lesson. You may submit text entry box, media file upload, or file upload. Be creative. It's four points. I would like you to come up with at least three reading goals, all right? So one point for doing it, and then one point for every goal you come up with. If you can come up with four goals, if you can think of one more, that would be great. But I would like you to come up with three, all right? And type them or say them in complete sentences. So don't stop at just three words, like read more books, right? Remember, goals are measurable. You can say how many, you can say when. So make sure you are saying exactly what you want your goal to be, okay? So you're gonna do your reading goals, and then when that is done, Lexia or read by yourself, and we will be back on for math at what time, everybody unmute yourselves and tell me, what time do you need to be on for math? 10.20. 10.20. 10.20, thank you. 10.20. Yep, very good. So when you log off, reading goals, Lexia, read a book, and then 10, 20 back on from.